our impact is not what you do see, our impact is what you don't see. Stanford and Greenwich, as one catchment area, actually has a significant homeless problem. About 300 people are homeless every night in Stanford and Greenwich. You don't see it because organizations like St. Luke's LifeWorks and some of our colleagues are tackling that problem. St. Luke's LifeWorks partnered with Soltage, a national solar energy company, to bring solar panels to the roof of one of their buildings. We were attracted to St. Luke's LifeWorks primarily, well, number one, because of the story. Uh, because of what St. Luke's LifeWorks does, breaking the cycle of homelessness, that was something we very much wanted to be a part of. Second is they're a very large energy consumer, and they have some large roofs on which we can house our solar assets. So we approached them with our value proposition, which is let us come build our solar assets at our cost and our risk on your roof, and um, then we'll just sell you inexpensive electricity. Uh, it's a great way to have private sector, not-for-profit sector, and government working together to reduce uh, carbon dioxide, help the environment, better the community, and use the savings to help fund our programs. The project was funded by both Soltage and the Connecticut Clean Energy Fund, which was founded 10 years ago by the state legislature. Yeah, the Connecticut Clean Energy Fund provided about half of the capital for this project. Uh, solar PV is still a very expensive renewable energy technology, and uh, subsidies of some kind are usually required. Uh, the Clean Energy Fund, at the time this project was conceived, was providing an incentive of almost $5 a watt, $5,000 a kilowatt, for projects like this. So we provided about uh, a little less than uh, $600,000, I believe, for this project. On Wednesday, Mayor Michael Pavia and Congressman Jim Himes joined representatives from the two companies in a ribbon-cutting ceremony. You know, I have a little bit of a background in this because in, when I was working in affordable housing, I helped develop standards by which we could build affordable housing that would reduce what people spend on energy. That really matters for people who are living in affordable housing. Energy bills can be huge uh, as a percentage of uh, income for people who are, who are not making a lot of money. So this is uh, one that's near and dear to my heart personally. And with budget debates a priority these days, Mayor Pavia explains that going green is a direction he thinks we should all be going. The only thing I can say is if there's anyone in the process now, Board of Finance, Board of Representatives, uh, that sees an opportunity to do something different than what we've been doing in the past that might save the taxpayer a few more dollars and lessen any tax increase, then that's where we need to go. Creativity, new understanding of how to, how to make more with less. Solar panels, uh, we have a, this is probably the second commercial installation of sol solar panels in the city of Stanford, something that we should be encouraging. Chaplin explains that not only does St. Luke's LifeWorks save Stanford money with the public programs it runs, but that the solar project will allow St. Luke's to save on their energy costs, and those savings can be passed along to their programs. It has been quantifiably proved at this point that we save uh, Stanford, the city of Stanford, Five to six million dollars a year conservatively by housing the people we house because when they come and when they are housed by us and when we take care of them, there are reduced visits to the emergency room, there are reduced visits to mental health institutions, there's reduced time spent in jail, there's less need for policing. All of these things go down dramatically when we're here doing what we do. That number equates to at least five or six million dollars a year. We expect our electricity bills will drop by about 17% a year. That's really important when you think about the price of oil today. 17% reduction is really very valuable to us. Uh, we're going to use those savings to fund our programs and provide more services and better services to people who are in need. If you'd like to learn more about the organization, you can visit their website, stlukeslifeworks.org.